Krishna is a thief through and through. The great saint Bilva Mangal Thakur sings, Vraje Prasidam Navanit Chauram. Krishna is that thief who goes to every home and steals the butter. Gopan Gananam Chadukula Chauram. Krishna is that thief who stole the clothes of the gopis. Aneka Janmar Jita Papa Chauram. Krishna is also that thief who may just steal away the lifetimes of accumulated sinful activities. Chodagraganyam Purusham Namami. To that foremost of thieves in Vrindavan, Krishna, I offer all respects. Yes, Krishna is a thief. He will steal all of these things. He may steal your mind. He may steal all your attention. And if you're really lucky, Krishna will steal your heart. Today we are at the enchanting place known as Chirgat. One day the gopis had come here to bathe and Krishna deviously snuck up to that place, gathered all of the clothes of the gopis that were lying on the banks and then with those clothes he climbed up a tree and secretly hid there. When the gopis looked around, realizing what had happened, they were searching, who is the culprit? And then they saw Krishna in the tree, smiling. They petitioned Krishna to return their clothes, but Krishna, smiling, cheeky as he was, was unwilling to budge one inch. Rather, he looked back at the gopis and said, now all of you must come out, completely exposed. The deeper story behind this outrageous pastime is that the gopis had prayed to the goddess Katyayani to have Krishna as their husband. And therefore Krishna engineered an incredible, unthinkable, outrageous pastime in order to fulfill their desire. In 1958, Prabhupada was right here in Vrindavan as a lone, penniless mendicant. And even Prabhupada explained how he was on the receiving end of Krishna's thievery. He explained, Yasyaham Anugranami Harishe Tadhanam Shane, that I received Krishna's special mercy because he took everything away from me. So here at Chirgat, we're remembering that Krishna is a thief, and the day you allow Krishna into your life, Krishna will begin taking things away. But rest assured, when he takes all of those things away, gradually you'll realize that Krishna has left you with the greatest wealth.